hi there everyone and welcome to this video today we will be talking about payment discount tolerances and how you can use those in business central so we have done a video before on payment tolerances uh, payment discount tolerances work in very much the same way um, it's just that we're giving our customers or we're asking for our from our vendors rather um, an additional grace period for discounts to be granted um, so let's get into it uh, to set this up I'm just going to search for a page here called general ledger setup and on the general ledger setup if I come into the um, application area um, there's a few things that I can set up so I can set up the um, payment discount tolerance warning to be shown or not be shown so if I want to see that warning I can place a check in this box here um, Secondly, I can set up the payment discount tolerance posting. Now this can either go to the payment tolerance account, so that's the same accounts that we use on the right hand side here for payment tolerances, or if you have a dedicated account for your payment discount tolerances, um, we can have uh, the payment discount account selected in this field. So uh, I'll just leave this as, uh, as this. Um, and finally on here is the payment discount grace period. Um, so this is basically the period um, which we are going to grant our customers or we're going to be granted by our vendors um, in terms of grace for our payment discounts. Okay. Now when I update this field, so uh, I'll just put in 20D in there. So it's a, a BC date formula field. So 20D means 20 days. When I move off that field, um, it just asks me, do you want to change all open entries for every customer and vendor that are not blocked? I'm gonna say yes. Um, and what this will basically do is in the background, I mean, I won't bring it up on screen, but it shows um, on your customer ledger entries and your vendor ledger entries that are open, a payment discount tolerance date, okay? And uh, it's just going to update those um, open entries with this new payment discount grace period. Now there is some other setup that you need to do in the background here on the um, posting set of pages uh, but that's very similar to what we did for the payment tolerance setup so uh, I won't run through that one um, on, uh, on this video. So instead what we'll do is just jump into a customer record here and uh, if I go into a datum corporation just want to show you here that we have um, a payment terms code of 1MHD. If I just do a quick look up on that, you can see that we have um, a discount date calculation of 8D or 8 days, whereas the due date of the invoice is 1M or 1 month. And if we pay within the discount date calculation, um, we get a 2% discount. But remember, this is not about the um, discount date calculation. It's about the payment tolerance, uh, payment discount tolerances rather. So uh, what we'll go ahead and do now is just post an invoice. And I just want to show you the fields that get populated. Um, so let me come up to the top here. I'm going to say new document and sales invoice. And on my invoice, I'm just going to select a GL code for now. We'll put in a quantity of one and I'll put in a unit price of 100. OK, um, and as we know, the payment terms code will flow through to my invoice. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just post my invoice and say yes. So BC is telling me the invoice is posted as number 103225. Do you want to open the invoice? I'm going to say yes. And from here, I'm just going to use the find entries function. And I'm just going to show you the customer ledger entry. So there's one that we have here. And if I scroll to the right here, we can see that the due date of the invoice is 30.05. 24 okay so that's the one month that we saw on the payment terms then we have the payment discount date which is set as 080524 uh, which is basically saying um, the invoice is due at the end of May but if we uh, pay this invoice if the customer pays the invoice rather um, on or before the 8th of 
um, May, um, they will be able to claim a payment discount. Okay, and this is the payment discount that they can uh, can uh, receive. So it's two pounds forty. And uh, the field that we're focusing on today, though, is the payment discount tolerance date. And you can see this is an additional twenty days to the payment discount date. Okay, so because on the general ledger setup earlier we input twenty d or twenty days in the payment discount grace period field. What that does is it adds 20 days to the payment discount date and it says our payment discount tolerance date is now 2805.24. So if we pay the invoice before this date, I mean, that's a huge grace period, right? Um, but if we pay the invoice uh, before this date, if customer sends us the payment, we will be able to claim that payment discount. But because we marked the warning as yes, remember, uh, we will receive a warning to let us know. And that warning should come up if the payment uh, is, is being received between the 8th, so after the 8th and the 28th of, uh, of May. So it's from the 9th of May to the 28th of May because that will then fall into our payment discount grace period, right? So what I'll do is let me go into my cash receipt journal and I'm just going to go ahead and process a payment for this. So there are other ways that you can process payments, guys, but I'm just very quickly going to do that on um, here. So what I'll do first is let me go in and just set the posting date as the 8th. And remember, that is the date um, up until which we can claim a discount. So this is not going into... The, the tolerance, the payment tolerance discount, okay? So if I go apply entries now, sorry, I just need to set that as a payment as well. So if I go into apply entries, I should have my invoice here. There it is on the bottom, 103225. And we've got the same fields here, right? So I can see the due date is 3005. Payment discount date is 0805 and the payment discount tolerance date is 2805. Now, if I say set applies to ID, we see the payment discount amount is applied. We say OK, and then we can go ahead and post that payment. OK, so what I'm going to do now is let me just unapply from here. And sorry, I'm just going to remove that. And what we'll do this time is we will modify the line here to be 0905, okay? So now we are outside of the originally agreed payment discount terms and we are into the payment discount grace period, okay? So I've set the posting date of my payment here to the 9th of May, 24. Let me go apply entries and I'll just show you again on here on our last line for invoice 103225 we see that the payment discount date is 0805 and the payment discount tolerance date is up until 280524, right? So our 0905 posting date from our journal line that we've set on the screen before now falls in between these two dates, okay? So if I say set applies to ID, what you can see here is that the payment discount amount has not been applied as we saw previously. However, when I press OK here, what we get is a warning that shows up. So just expand this out here and expand the details. So BC tells us an action is requested regarding the payment discount tolerance warning to handle the late payment discount. Do you want to post the payment as discount tolerance or do we want to not accept the late payment discount? Okay, so by default, you can see here it's do not accept the late payment discount that's selected. Um, and then below here, I've just got some details. It tells me the invoice number, the currency code, the amount, and then the outstanding balance that will be left if I don't accept the payment discount. So you can do this without the warning as well. The reason why we're getting this warning is because earlier in the video on the general ledger setup, we said we want to receive that payment discount tolerance warning, okay? So what I'll do now is I will just post that as payment discount tolerance. Um, we will accept the uh, the discount there. Let me say yes. And 
what I'll now go ahead and do is say post and yes. So what I'll do now is I'll just go into my customer cart to review that payment. Let me go into a datum corporation. Let me go customer and ledger entries. And if I just choose the last payment there, which we've just made, we can see here we've got some detailed ledger entries under here. So if I go into the three detailed ledger entries, I'll just expand this out. We can see we have a payment discount tolerance entry type here, okay? And that's because we granted the payment discount tolerance um, to the customer based on uh, our decision on the warning that we got there. And also, if I come in here and say find entries, um, I mean, I can just go to GL accounts there. And we also have um, the, uh, sorry, in the three GL entries, we've just got the um, amount that goes to our nominated payment discount account here. So the, the £2.40 discount there, okay? Um, so that's everything I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.